In this lesson, we will study about iterator invalidation and also what are the different rules of iterator invalidation. So first, let's understand what is iterator in invalidation. So when there are changes in the content of the container, and by changes we mean when we insert or delete some elements to the container, and that container is currently using iterators, then these iterators may become an invalidated. These may or may not, depending on the container implementation. So uh, they will not uh, cause runtime error, but the iterator is no longer guaranteed to access the same element it was referring to before the update happened. So there are some well-documented rules for our different iterator invalidation, and we will look at that. So first, let's look at an example. So let's say we have this vector. So this is a vector. And let's say we have an iterator, which is pointing at a fourth element. Then we call insert on this and we insert 100 uh, before 4. So now it becomes 1, 2, 3, then 100, 4, 5, 6, and uh, 7. So but IT may still be pointing to this location. So earlier before the update, it was pointing to a location which contained 4 now it's pointing to a location which contained 100 so you may or may not see this behavior and let's say in in some cases so these are not invalidated but the element uh, place where we inserted it and thereafter it gets invalidated but in the case of some other container like let's say list or even the forward list both cases if we insert if there is an iterator pointing to this location having x and we insert some value here then still it will be pointing to x only because uh, it's actually pointing to the object location these are not these may not be contiguous and it's actually pointing to the actual location of that element so that is not changed we have just inserted some new node in between so in that case it may not be invalidated it will not be invalidated so depending on the container. So uh, what are the different rules? So uh, let's first uh, look at an example where I will show uh, iterator invalidation in the case of vectors. So you will see it in action. And then we will look at what are all the different rules and different containers. So first let's look at the example. We have this vector. And then what we do, let's say we have an iterator. V dot begin plus 4. So where is it pointing? Begin is this one. Begin plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. So it, it's pointing to 5. So I'm just writing it 5 here, the element 5. So what if I print this iterator content? So we have dereferenced it and it should print 5. So let's run it and it prints 5 and it's expected. Uh, also if you uh, print the difference from or offset from begin or it minus begin rather. then it should print 4 uh, because this it is pointing here and begin is pointing here so difference is 4 so there should not be anything surprise here then we will do the insertion so it should be v dot begin not begin so it's 4 now let's insert something so v dot insert and uh, we will insert at this so how insert works is that this iterator is pointing to 5 so we are passing this position so it will insert before this so we insert 100 so now this vector has become 1 2 1 2 3 4, 100, 5, 
six, seven. Its size has increased and hundred has been inserted here. Now what we will do? Uh, let's print these two again. And you see it prints five. And if you write it minus begin, it was uh, four here. So if everything has shifted and it is pointing here, then it should have been five it minus v dot begin. But you see minus eight. So there is something wrong here. You can even verify by printing uh, v four. Let's say. So this should clearly print uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 100. And this prints 100 as expected. But this is surprise. Why is it showing minus 8 it minus v dot begin? So what's the way to fix it? So this iterator is no longer valid. So we can va uh, validate it with this. So insert also returns the updated iterator uh, where it inserted. So now this iterator is updated here. So it should be valid and it should return 4. So 100 is inserted at this position. So this will return iterator pointing to 100. So now when we do star it, it should print 100 and it minus begin should print 4 as early and this should match with v4. Everything will be valid now. So everything is in, in line. It's 100, it's 4, it's 100. So make sure that when you have to insert or something like this, then you update the iterator as well. Maybe you have a requirement where you want to insert something based on the condition. Let's say you are iterating through this vector and as soon as you find a value, let's say 10, then you insert before that. It may be part of your requirement. In that case, you may write code like this and your code will become invalid if you are doing further operations on iterators. So make sure that you update this or validate this iterator. So I hope this gave you some sense of iterator invalidation and how to prevent it. So this was vector. This would not be a problem with list or uh, forward list or even maps and other containers. So let's see the complete rules. So for uh, uh, getting to know about the different rules, you can refer this site cppreference.com cpp slash container and there there will be a section for iterator invalidation. So uh, for example, container is array, then in this case, uh, nothing is applicable since it's a fixed size containers and you are not allowed to add or insert new elements. You are just allowed to update the value. Then we have vector. Uh, after insertion and after eraser. So there are two kinds of update. You insert some value or delete some value. So you can uh, go through this complete list by yourself and please refer this site. I will uh, stop this lesson here and see you in the next lesson.